and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, we are gonna be talking all about affordable luxury home decor. And yes, all three of those things can coexist. I have been online shopping, you know that's like my middle name. I've been online shopping, of course, looking at home decor, what else is new, and I found such amazing pieces. I think I found like 14 to 15 pieces that I know you all are gonna love. They look very luxurious, they look very high end, but they're also very affordable and from affordable places. So if you wanna see my top picks, things that I'm loving right now, things that may or may not be in my cart right now, ready to check out, then please just keep on watching. You guys, I screenshotted these things. First of all, can we take a moment for like the aesthetics? I'm really trying to step my game up. I got my mic hooked up, my camera, my different lens. So y'all, I'm trying out here. Okay, so the first place we're shopping at is Target. You all know I love me some Target. Rob jokes all the time that this is pretty much a Target house. You guys, I am telling you, do not sleep on Target. They have such great items, especially if you shop like you gotta go to like page three and four. Like that's where like the unique stuff is, I feel. Okay, so the first thing that I saw, I actually found this a while ago and I had it saved underneath my favorites, is this rug. It's by Opal House. It's an elderberry snake skin woven area rug in the color gray. And I just think this is so like bougie and fancy. I feel like this would be really, really nice in like a glam room or like a girly, office or just like a glam space. I think this would be really, really nice. I'm picturing this either underneath like a white desk or a white vanity just to give it some texture, give it a little bit of print, some visual interest I think would be really, really nice. I love the tones. I love that it's snake print, but honestly, when I look at this, I thought it was like a giraffe type print, something like that. It looks a little bit more brown, even though it's labeled as gray, but I think this is just really, really pretty. This would make a really nice area rug. Maybe if you have like a glam, even living room, you have a white couch. I think this would be really, really pretty underneath like a gold coffee table. Maybe something with gold legs would be really, really nice, luxurious and glam. Okay, and then the next item that I found from Target is this accent chair. It's by Hearth and Hand. I really, really like this because it looks like something that you would find in like a CB2 even maybe like a restoration hardware. It really has that like wooden, kind of like an unreclaimed, unfinished wood. And I think it looks really nice. It has like a cane back. I'm pretty sure that's cane. And I think it just looks really nice. It kind of plays in with the trend of like woven, basket, rattan kind of vibe. And I really, really like this. I think this is just like a more like simple take on that trend. This would be cute with pillows or honestly, if you just left it plain as is, I think this would be really, really nice. So I told you all with that last rug, I kind of visualized it in more of like a glam girly space. But if you have a space that starts to feel a little bit too glam, too untouchable, too like sparkly and white, I think adding elements like this wood accent chair would be really, really nice. If you have like a white or like a cream couch, maybe like a gray rug, you wanna add in some like warmer wooden tones and I think this chair would be a great addition. Okay you guys, next up I found these accent chairs. This is a perfect dupe in my opinion for the chairs that we have over here from CB2. It kinda has like that black iron frame with the white pillows up against the back and the seat cushion. And I think this is just a really, really nice option. So if you saw in our last home update, we got new chairs, love them, I'm obsessed with them. You all went crazy for them too. This is a really, really good option. I love it, obviously. I mean, I pretty much have these exact same ones. It's just from a different store. So if you were looking for something to get a similar look to what we have, this is a really great option. Again, like I just really, really like the white and the black. I think it looks very sleek and clean and minimal, and I'm obsessed with these chairs. Okay, next place we're 
we're going to is Wayfair. I love me some Wayfair, you guys. Like, there are so many online retailers that you can find things for affordable prices and get the look for less. It's like, it's mind blowing. So, Wayfair is no exception. The first thing that I found is wall art. This abstract wall painting, I think, is beautiful. Really, really reminds me of Restoration Hardware. You could obviously like DIY this, but I would act fast. There's 4th of July sales happening on Wayfair. This one is 28% off, it's only $42, and I think it is awesome. I love it above this entryway table. If you have a space kind of similar to this, I feel like this would fit perfectly, but honestly, like you could flip it horizontally and put it above your bed. You could put it in a dining room area. Honestly, like any blank wall that you have in your house that's just like craving something but you can't figure out what it is. Maybe you don't wanna add a mirror because you already have a mirror in the space. I think abstract art is a great addition and the black and white, like it's just beautiful. It's speaking to me. Okay, next up is this piece of wall art. It's a little bit more expensive but it is on sale. I just love this. I love the tones of this. I love how it's like that tan, beige, brown cream. I love the design. I think it's just really Really, really pretty. I'm picturing this in a dining room. I'm also picturing this in like a glam office, maybe on the back wall, you have your desk, you have your chair, and then on that back wall, you have this artwork I think would be beautiful. I'm kind of even visualizing it with the rug I showed you earlier in this video. I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very glam. It kind of pulls a little bit girly, but I feel like you could tone it down with like wooden accents and like more warmer pieces, but I really love this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This coffee table right here is everything. I love it. I love the gray top. I love the legs. This is so different. This is so unique. Again, with the 4th of July sales. This one is on sale. I just think this is so cool. This is what I mean by Wayfair having the most unique, different kind of out of the box pieces. I just love this. I've never seen this before. I just think it's very, very beautiful, very pretty. Again, with the cream and white couch, with this coffee table and like an abstract rug underneath would just speak my language. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's very, very pretty. It looks very luxurious and very high end. And I am here for both those things. Okay, next up we have this coffee table. This one is definitely an affordable piece. I thought this was very unique and different as well. It did remind me of like a CB2 restoration hardware vibe. You know, I'm all about that life and I just thought this was really really nice again like I've been saying in like so many videos that if your space starts to feel way too white and gray and you kind of feel like it's just very untouchable very like over-the-top glam or very just like monochromatic but not in the best way you're just not feeling it add in some wood add in some like more earthy elements to kind of make it blend a little bit better. That's just my opinion. I feel like this coffee table is a great option for that. It's very unique, like how it, it's open sort of in the middle. You kind of have the like parallel, like wooden pieces, but then like perpendicular as well. I don't know, we're getting very math and technical, but you can see it right here. I think this is very beautiful. I feel like you could add some, like a black tray on top of this, coffee table books, candles, all three would be very, very beautiful with this coffee table. Okay, next up, I found some beds that I think are very, very pretty. This one right here is an upholstered platform bed. I really, really like the tone of this fabric. I thought this was really, really pretty. I thought this would be a great addition to a bedroom that you want to feel a little bit more luxurious. I really love it up against these gray walls, but also like white walls would be beautiful as well. I just think this is gorgeous. I'm just picking picturing this bed with like some matching nightstands and like gold lamps on either side would be so pretty. Okay, and then I found this bed. You guys, I have been on the hunt. I've been searching high and low for a dupe for our bed, our restoration hardware bed that we have. I cannot find an exact dupe or something that's like super duper close, but this one to me is like a little bit close. Like it kind of gives you that same vibe with like the gray washed wood and then the upholstered headboard part sort of in the middle like we have. I think this is a really great option. It's pretty affordable for what it is. And I really like this. 
If I were to change one thing about it though, it would probably be the like button parts of the headboard. I'm not the biggest fan of like the, what do you even call that? Not pleating, but like the tufted parts in the headboard, specifically on this one, because I just feel like it's odd to have three. But if you're like, girl, that don't bother me. I'm into this, I love it. I feel like this is a really great option. This is the closest I've come to a dupe of our bed. Okay guys, and moving on to Amazon. I am an Amazon girl through and through. I actually just did a video of my Amazon favorites for home decor, but you guys, there's just something about Amazon. I can't stay off the website. I can't keep my hands off the app. So I had to go back and I found some more stuff. So <laughs> that's good news for you. Bad news for my wallet and my bank account, but it's fine. We're gonna look past it. The first thing that I found are these three boxes. They're faux shagreen. And if you've seen a lot of my previous videos and I actually just talked about our bedroom set is a shagreen bedroom set. It's a very, I think it's like alligator texture. I don't know, it's like a bumpy fabric. It's very unique. You just can't help but touch it. Like there's something about the fabric. I really, really like it. And when I saw these faux shagreen options for decor, I thought this was really, really cool. It doesn't have many reviews, but I have a good feeling about this because it's pretty and it's cute and it's not like it's something that's a piece of furniture. It's not like it's something that's like a bold piece in your house. This is obviously just for decor. You can open the boxes and put like, you know, catch all things if you want to. You can put it on an entry table. You can keep, you know, like one or two stacked in like a cabinet. You can put it on maybe your dresser to kind of dress it up a little bit. I just feel like there's something about the shagreen fabric that's very luxurious, very high end. It kind of gives like, I don't know, it gives like bougie vibes and I'm here for it. I really, really like this. I love the gold hardware on it. I think this is just really, really pretty. These are decor pieces that can honestly fit anywhere. Like if you find yourself having like a space or a corner that it doesn't look finished, but you don't know what to put there. You don't want to just fill it with junk and maybe you do need a little bit of storage. Storage, I feel like this is a really great option. Okay, next up, keeping with the shagreen, I found this tray. I think this would be beautiful on a coffee table, maybe just a, like a breakfast nook table or a dining room table. Like if you have a smaller dining room table, I think this would be great. You could put it on an entryway table. Again, this is just like a decor piece that you could place somewhere, put like a candle, maybe some books, maybe even like a stack of coasters, just something to give it a little bit of of like zhuzh. like if you need like a little vignette area complete I feel like this is a great addition okay next up these pillowcases I don't know what it is about Amazon and their pillowcases but I feel like I always find good ones or maybe they just have like a ton of options and I'm obsessed with them this is really really nice this to me screams luxury because it is velvet it kind of gives sheen there's something about like a luxurious space there's always a little bit of like metallic or sheen or reflection in the space and I feel like this velvet well it's a set of two these velvet pillowcases are awesome I love this color this gray color is beautiful I love how they have it on the gray couch but honestly if you had like a cream and you wanted to mix some gray in there I think this is just really really pretty okay next up is a decor piece this is a little bit expensive it's $56 but for what it is, I think it's really, really nice. You could put this in a cabinet. The thing with like decor and home pieces in general is like you buy it once and it's not like you have to rebuy it. So I don't know, that's how I justify things. I'm like, you buy it once and then you have it forever. Like it's beautiful forever. It doesn't get like worn out or anything like shoes or clothes. So for me, I'm like, well, I'll just buy it once and I'll always have it. So I don't know, if you need a little like voice in your head that's telling you like, just get it, just pull the trigger. Like this is me, <laughs> this is the voice. So I really, really like this. I think this is cool. Again, this is kind of like that sculptural, like artistic vibe. I love this. You can put it in a cabinet, on a mantle, on a dresser, on an entryway table, like anywhere would be very, very pretty. Okay, you guys, this is number one on my list. This is something that I really, really want. 
it's in my cart right now, so please don't sell it out, but it is this Architectural Digest coffee table book. It's a hundred years, right? Uh, a century of style, yeah. So I just love how pretty this is, and if you are a home decor addict, if you are all about interior design, Architectural Digest is like your go-to. Like I follow them on Instagram, I'm subscribed to them on YouTube, I watch all their videos. Like I feel like I learn so much, even on their website. So getting this book would not only be pretty because it's like cream and aesthetic, of course, but you can like flip through and get inspiration. I feel like this would be a really, really good gift. An expensive gift, it's kinda expensive. I looked online and Amazon has it for the cheapest. It's $71, which is like, oh, come on. But if you're gonna use it as like a decor piece, as well as inspiration, it's kind of like the Rihanna, what is it, the Rihanna Vogue book. Like, I would love that one as well. They're expensive. Some coffee table books are very expensive. Obviously, you don't have to get this, but if you're into it, if you wanna invest, I highly recommend this one. Okay, you guys, and those are all of my affordable, affordable, that's subjective, right? But affordable luxury home decor pieces. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I love filming these videos. I love filming home updates. I love filming home decor hauls and tips and tricks and things that I'm learning along the way. You guys, like I'm actually like looking things up and like taking little courses on home decor. Like I'm taking it serious. I'm not just up here like just talking out of nowhere. So if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to continue doing videos like this, leave a comment down below. If you're like, girl, can you do a video like this about home? Or like, can you shop here and tell me what you would get about home? Anything like that, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Definitely subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, honestly, me and this new setup, like I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. Like, this is so cute. So we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.